I know you are not able to calculate bond order from this formula. So I have the trick. For diatomic species like N2O2 etc, all you have to do is, you should know how to calculate the total number of electrons. For example, in N2, the total number of electrons are 14 because 7 are from N and 7 are from another N. For example, in O2, we have total number of 16 electrons, 8 from one and 8 from another one. Similarly, in CO, we have 6 plus 8, which is equals to 14 number of total electrons. This is the only prerequisite you have to you have to understand to uh, understand this trick. So the trick is you have to remember the bond order for this for those molecules which have 14 total number of electrons for example for N2 and CO the bond order will be 3 and for all others that if the total number of electrons are like from if we subtract 1 from 14 uh, continuously till 10 the bond order will subtract like 0.5 from 3 for example for 13 it's 2.5 for 12 it's 2 for 11 it's 1.5 for 10 it's 1 similarly if we increase uh, the total number of electrons by 1 for example from 14 to 18 15 16 17 and 18 the bond order corresponds to 2.5 to 1.5 and 1 for example let's consider this example o2 plus uh, since it is a plus sign we will remove one electron so total number of electrons will be 15 so for 15 we can clearly see that the bond order will be 2.5 5. Similarly, for O2 minus, since there is a negative sign, single negative will correspond to 1 plus of electron and so we have the 17 electron and for 17 electrons, we can clearly see that the bond order will be 1.5 and similarly, for 18 total number of electrons, because we have 2 minus, adding 2 to this value, alright, so we have 18 total number of electrons and for corresponding to 18, we have 1 bond order. That's it. And the only exceptions are denoting structures, which I'll be talking in my next video. Thank you and have a nice day.